下面我们今天将迎来唯一一位用英文分享的分享者林美芳同修。从小受英文教育的林美芳同修，虽然不擅长华文，却依然阻止不了他学佛念经的诚心。通过修行心灵法门，让全家受益，改变命运。让我们掌声欢迎。Before I begin my testimony today, I would like to extend my deepest gratitude to the great compassionate and merciful Guan Yin Bodhisattva, Dharma protectors, Master Lu, and fellow practitioners who have helped me. If I make any mistake in my speech today, I seek Guan Yin Bodhisattva, Dharma protectors, and fellow practitioners for forgiveness in advance. Good afternoon, everyone. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you personally to this session today. Two years back was a time when I was at a verge of breaking down after having to deal with many intricate problems in my life over a period of time. The turning point came when I was introduced to Master Luz Guanin Chira Damado through a session like today in August 2014. Today, I'm able to stand in front of you with tears replaced by smile on my face, all thanks to Guanyin Bodhisattva, Master Lu, as their great compassion have helped to foster harmonious relationship among my family members, improve my health, and enhance my children's academic performance. Before we practiced Dharma, relationship among my family members was extremely unhealthy. My, my husband and elder son were behaving like arch enemy. They would argue over every trivial matters and almost got into fight in one or two occasions. And between my elder son and myself, there were lots of unhappiness. I know my child is kind in nature, but I simply couldn't understand what he wanted from me. Most of the time, he would burst into a fit of rage, throwing tantrums before I could proceed further. Efforts to engage in meaningful conversation with him and my husband would be futile. Every day I dread going back home as it feels more like a battlefield. I felt like a failure as a mom and felt lonely without anyone to confide in. I'm glad that I was introduced to Kwan Yin Chida Damador before I sink into depression and commit something foolish. After practicing Kwan Yin Chida Dhamma, I began to have better understanding of the law of cause and effect I learned to view things with a different perspective. In about six months' time, I started to feel more empowered with improvement in the state of my mind. I'm fortunate that through Kwan Yin Chida Dhamma Do, my family members have accepted Buddhism and started reciting the mantras. To cut long story short, what exactly are the changes that Dharma cultivation brought about for my family? I see vast transformation in our disposition. The frequent quarrels, arguments, and exchanges of hurtful words had stopped. It's unbelievable how everyone in the family is now more appreciative and tolerant towards each other. My elder son, the one who threw a tantrum, can sometimes double up as my consultant, giving suggestions on how to deal with a difficult situation now. In addition to the issue on family relationship, my health was deteriorating as well. I was plagued with acute backache since I gave birth to my first child 17 years ago. And about four years back, I developed palpitation and vertigo. Below are the various symptoms, brief description of what I had put through for the respective ailment. Aching pain, aching pain on my lower back would recur almost every alternate month or so. I have visited many Chinese masu over the years in search of a cure that never happened. And the only medication that doctor could prescribe is painkiller or muscle relaxant. Symptoms of palpitation include shortness of breath and racing heartbeat. The rate of my heartbeat would exceed 110 minutes throughout. There was even once an ambulance was called to send me to A&E as I had difficulty breathing. 
I had consulted two heart specialists and underwent various tests. None could explain the cause. So I just had to rely on the medication to suppress the symptoms. The next torment for me was vertigo. The intense giddiness could cause me to lose my balance and vomit continuously. This would happen every two to three months. Each time, I would have to be rushed to my doctor for injection, followed by oral medication for about a week. From a medical point of view, there isn't a cure for all the above ailments. I seriously thought that I would have to live with them for the rest of my life. But through Dharma practice, the symptoms seems to have diminished. I had stopped taking medication and had not experienced vertigo for about eight months now. Rate of my heartbeat had also returned to about 80 beats per minute. All of a sudden, I felt like I was reborn again. Words simply cannot describe my gratitude towards Kuan Yin Bodhisattva. Other than relationships and health, Kuan Yin Bodhisattva has further demonstrated her great compassion towards me and my children. Due to poor mental and physical health, I was unable to focus and guide my younger son when he sat for PSLE in 2014. He ended up performing slightly below admission requirement of the desired school. With faith in Kuan Bodhisattva, I proceed with an appeal. I made a vow to take 26 days of vegan diet, of which four days have to be pure vegetarian, recite Jie Jie Tok, Twenty Shen Tok, and for him and strive to offer 13 little houses for his 13 years old karmic passes. Competition for admission was stiff, and I still remember vividly that the staff asked me to give up waiting. Miraculously, I was informed he was accepted within about two hours on the first day of school. In 2015, my other son set for his O-level examination. I prayed to Kuan Yin Bodhisattva to bless him with a calm and clear mind so as to perform well for his examination. This time, I made a vow to offer 32 little houses for his 16 years old karmic passes. My husband also offered to join me in the recitation, making vow to take pure vegetarians for two consecutive weeks and to liberate 500 fishes for my son. Throughout the exam period, we would recite Ta Pei Zhou, Xin Jing, Jie Jie Zhou, and Jun Ti Shen Zhou to help my son get through his examination. My child did his part as well with his daily recitation and took me by surprise when he made a vow to take pure vegetarian food throughout the exam period. With the blessing from Guan Yin Bodhisattva, he achieved a net aggregate score of four points, an achievement that qualified him for admission to science stream of most junior colleges in Singapore including Hua Chong Junior College. We were overjoyed and thanked Guan Yin Bodhisattva wholeheartedly for the outcome for both of my sons. As you can see, the great compassionate and merciful Guan Yin Bodhisattva has helped to change my family and my life. I do not know what will happen to my family without their blessings. It's hard proof that life is difficult. If you are able to resonate with me, I would like you to know that you and only you have total responsibility on how you want to control, take control and change your life. Kuan Yin Bodhisattva and Master Luz Kuan Yin Chita Damador have instilled strength and courage in me to face up with all the challenges and to change my destiny. I shall give thanks to Guanyin Bodhisattva and Mastulu by committing myself to Dharma practice. If you are new to Guanyin Chita Dharma Do, I hope today, today will be the day that you will take the first step to find out more, as what I did two years ago. Thank you.